hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing a laravel 9 e-commerce series and now guys in this video we are going to learn how to display our trending products in laravel okay so we will be displaying our trending products with the help of our carousel so guys now let's get started so first let's move to this home page guys and get all the trending products whatever we have in our admin dashboard okay so now guys let's go to our vs code so everything clear guys and now first let's go to routes web.php and move to your home page so this is our home route guys over here and it goes to front end controller just copy and search for it control e and go to the front end controller we reached there and add the index function okay so make sure you are going at index function here perfect and here we move to index blade file so let's control and click guys so we reach to the front end page and which is the output this okay so now guys here as simple let me just create one a simple separation of like welcome to our e-commerce so let me just paste that guys okay so this underline is a custom css guys let me just show you that so we need to go to our public folder insert public asset css and custom.css so inside this custom.css so this is the underline code guys and now let's get back let me close this css file as simple and this is the dummy content done guys and now let's get below and start with our trending products so for that guys let me copy from above okay let's copy this and paste here paste and again let's copy this for the div and paste all set and now guys let's make this to 12 and we don't require this justify content center let's remove that and here we have to fetch our products so what products you are going to fetch let's go to our front end controller so now guys let's create a variable called trending products equal to your product model colon colon where condition and get the latest okay so latest record from that latest i want only 15 records okay so take 15 so if you have like 100 150 200 products so from that i just want the latest of 15 products okay and then use get function as simple guys and now let's copy this variable name and send in your compact function so you send here and before that you need to set up the where condition here so this where condition you have to call your column name trending so let's go to our database where products table inside the products table we have a column called trending perfect so we here it is trending let's copy that and tell here trending and this trending if it is one okay when it is one then only you have to show else not show okay so here you see that mi note 7 is trending one okay so it is active so that means this product is going to show and other product it will not show okay so guys you can either go and edit and update from here so let me just show you here let me edit this product called t-shirt okay and now guys let's go to this details so inside this detail you will find this option trending okay so let's check this and click update perfect so product updated successfully so guys you should see that uh, the product this t-shirt okay id number four t-shirt product should be one because we have updated so let me refresh guys perfect so here you see guys it's updated to one done so same way guys you can edit and update from here also uh, but now i am going to update directly from the database itself so let me update and now you go back to your home page and yep now you got this variable guys and you need to fetch in your front end so guys we have already done the coding where let me just show you in this all categories and here is a mobile and you see all types of 
products okay so we will go here and copy this exact code okay so let's go to this collection and mobile let's move to your web.php let's go to collection and the category which is front end controller at products function so products function is here and let's move to that bleed guys where it's a live wire component let's go inside that live wire component and here you see we have a for each loop okay so let me show you from beginning so this is my div guys this is for the filter part column md3 let me minimize this and this part column md9 is for your products code here let's copy and get back to the index blade and paste here so let's paste yep and now let me minimize and show you guys what's happening over here so this is my card product and this is a for else okay and then what we have to do let us take this control x and paste below and you need to remove this empty and from for else you need to make it to for each okay so make sure you are changing this for else condition to for each and now guys you need to get the variable so what is what was that variable let me close everything whatever we have extra opened let's go back to our front end controller at index function here trending products let's copy this variable and you need to paste here at the products done and now we need to check this in a if condition so at this place let us check in a if condition if it has data or it is true then you are coming in else you are showing no products available okay so you can remove this we don't require this no products available and and if that's it so now guys let's get inside this product card and see what are the changes we are going to do so i don't require this anymore let me remove it and here label we can keep as new so i'm going to keep static now in future maybe we update that as a tag column in our products table done guys and this was the image area and then your product name i mean brand name then your product name and then your pricing area that's it and this is your for each ends as simple guys now you can fold this product card okay and now guys let's get back to our front end controller and check that product is imported no it's not imported so let's import its class guys perfect so product imported guys now we see here guys i have made a mistake here spelling mistake so it's latest okay so not lastest it's latest and let's get back let's go now refresh guys and let's see the output perfect so it works fine guys but i just wanted this to be in center and then let's see the products perfect so we have got all the products guys and now we want to show this list in a avul carousel so let's get back to your index blade file so first let's move on this welcome to and here in the column 8 let's add a text hyphen center so it will become all in center okay now get back to your product trending products and now guys at this row i just wanted to show in a column md12 and you set a h4 tag h4 and tell trending products and add a underline done and then guys let us start with the owl carousel so let's go to our owlcarousel.com so owl carousel let's search for that let's go okay here is a download button guys just click download it will get downloaded and then guys i have already downloaded and extracted the file okay so now let me get back go to docs here you see that the file structure okay so this is owl carousel and these are the details so that files we find under this folder okay this inside this folder we need to take this single file owl carousel min.js let's copy that and go back to your project okay inside that project 
you need to go to your public folder and then assets we move inside js and there you paste your owl carousel min.js file so this was one js file and now we need to copy to css files okay so let's go back to our owl carousel folder go to inside the dist assets and then your owl carousel min.js owl theme default min.js let's copy both file copy and get back to the folder and paste here done and now guys let me just show you the installation process here if you go here installation you see all that what we have to link so these are the links guys and so the one is jquery and this is the js done and move in your app layouts okay so layouts app dot app blade dot php done so first let us link the css file guys so copy and paste let's tell here owl carousel and asset css we have two files named the owl carousel min.css paste it and then the owl theme default min.css paste it done and now guys let's get back to the script tag so here is our jquery so we already have that let me copy and paste here and now let's name as owl carousel owl carousel js file okay so let's move below here is the owl carousel min.js let me copy that paste here and these files are already available so you can just verify again in your public folder so let's go here you see that inside css we have owl carousel and the theme okay and then move inside your js you have your owl carousel min.js file so both are available done let's minimize it and now guys you need to yield the script tag so here you copy this yield and paste so let's tell script and now you can copy this go back to your index blade file and there at the below you can start your section so here at section open and close and end section okay so you you set your script tag and now you can begin with your script so what script you have to go to your owl carousel documentation go to demos and move to basics here you see the design okay so this is a carousel now you can copy from here let's copy now let's open the script tag and close the script tag and then guys paste it that's it so so here we name as trending product or trending hyphen product okay let's copy this and here you have to see that how much you require so on mobile you are showing one one and on tablet you are showing three three and on any laptop or desktop you are showing four okay so let's make it to four and now guys you can copy this trending product class name and get back to your and then you are mentioning here at the last and before this here you have to paste something else so that is nothing but the owl carousel and the theme so owl carousel plus theme copy this get back paste it done guys we have pasted inside let's make it outside let me keep outside here and let's end the div tag all set so make sure you're not pasting inside the for each it should be outside the for each okay and here if you want you can add another div to make as item so let's add a class item okay so it will be much clear to understand that each item is looping let's paste it that's it and now let's check the output get back to your home page refresh cool 
so let us scroll here you see everything works fine but here i see guys in starting let's make that in center so you just need to add mx hyphen auto okay and here at underline i want to add margin bottom four and i don't want this white background let me just remove that let's get back and refresh once perfect so it's working fine guys everything is correct so guys in this video that's it and let's continue in next video with the new topic of this laravel 9 e-commerce so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share